Mahavitaran or Mahadiskam or MSEDCL Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company Limited is a public sector undertaking PSU controlled by the government of Maharashtra. It is the largest electricity distribution utility in India, second largest in Asia after SGCC. MSEDCL distributes electricity to the entire Maharashtra state except some part of Mumbai city where Brihanmumbai Electric Supply and Transport, Tata Power and Reliance Energy are electricity distributors. Topic history The erstwhile Maharashtra State Electricity Board MSEB was looking after generation, transmission and distribution of electricity in the state of Maharashtra. But with enactment of Electricity Act 2003 of the Government of India, MSEB was unbundled into four companies on 6 June 2005 viz. MSEB Holding Company Limited. Mahanirmiti Mahanirmiti or Mahagenko Maharashtra State Power Generation Company Limited MSPGCL Mahaparishan Mahaparasana or Mahatransko Maharashtra State Electricity Transmission Company Limited MSETCL Mahavitaran Mahavitarana or Mahadiskam Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company Limited MSEDCL of these Mahavitaran is responsible for distribution of electricity throughout the state by buying power from either Mahagenko captive power plants or from other state electricity electricity boards and private sector power generation companies. The MSEB holding company was created to hold all the stakes in these three companies. Consumer base MSEDCL supplies electricity to a staggering 25 million consumers across the categories all over Maharashtra. There are about 18.1 million domestic residential 72.4%, 4 million agricultural 16%, 1.7 million commercial 7%, and 0.346 million industrial consumers 1.80% in MSEDCL who fetch an annual revenue of about 500 million rupees. The consumption share of residential consumers is 19.03%, commercial consumers is 7.35%, industrial consumers is 42%, agricultural consumers is 25.13% and others is 6.49%. Sources of power MSEDCL sources of power include thermal, hydro, gas and non-conventional sources like solar, wind, bagasse etc. apart from hydro power of the Koina Hydroelectric Project. Thermal power constitutes the major share which it gets from Mahagenko projects, central sector projects and RGPPL. Topic infrastructure In terms of infrastructure, MSEDCL operates a vast far-flung network comprising 33 kV, 22 kV and 11 kV transmission lines, substations and distribution transformers spread over 3.08 lakh km2 geographical area of Maharashtra covering 41,095 villages and 457 towns. It has 2,680 substations and switching stations with 49,000 MVA of transformation capacity, 10,334 HV feeders, and several thousand circuit kilometer of HT and lieutenant lines. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Human resource development. MSEDCL has a workforce of about 76,000 employees. This force is the real asset of the company. The welfare and well-being of this asset has been given top priority by the company. As such it has enhanced the scope of training facilities to a great extent. In addition to the existing four training centers, MSEDCL has recently established well-equipped 25 training centers at Circle offices which impart necessary training to line staff. Every year about 20,000 employees are put through refresher, professional, HR trainings. Safety is given special importance and safety training is imparted to line staff on regular basis. Engineers are also deputed to various other well-reputed training centers outside Maharashtra for training under MDP module and also deputed for training under drum project of USAID on regular basis. Topic. Social responsibility In last two years, about 2,000 wards of deceased employees have been provided with jobs. Two it is at Vijapur, Dist. 
Aurangabad and Kalyan have been adopted to improve facilities there to help the local population. Topic: <laughs> Empowering women employees. Ever increasing number of female engineers in the workforce of MSEDCL necessitated the thought of their empowerment. A novel idea of formation of all women squads, popularly known as Domini Patics, is being implemented. A Domini Patic, headed by a local female engineer and assisted by two to three outsourced female employees, equipped with digital camera, a security guard in uniform, and a vehicle, has been established at each of the circle offices under the leadership of respective superintending engineers. The task assigned to these squads is to undertake surprise checks of the photometer readings in their area. The aim of the exercise is to address the consumer complaints regarding photometer reading. The members of the squad visit the households between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. when generally housewives are present at homes. The squads are working satisfactorily and results are encouraging. Topic: <laughs> Mahila Batchat Gat. We do come across the instances of women's self-help groups like Mahila Batchet Gats helping poor and needy women earn their livelihood through production and marketing of home products. MSEDCL thought to exploit the vast woman power by offering them some good opportunities on bigger scale. It offered the Mahila Batchet Gats across the state to come forward and undertake the work of distribution of energy bills. This is indeed a great initiative towards empowering women. Accordingly, some of the Mahila Batchat Gats have already taken up the said works at various places in the state and an overall response is quite encouraging. It is hoped that the women engaged in this would experience significant rise in their daily earnings. Topic. Important projects To overcome the power crisis and improve consumer services MSEDCL made in-depth study involving subdivision-wise research of distribution network and planned ambitious projects. They include Topic. Infra plan MSEDCL's existing network handles a load of about 10,000 to 11,000 megawatts. By 2012, there will be an addition of another 10,000 megawatts in the system. With a view to cater future load, provide quality, reliable energy supply and reduce losses MSEDCL formulated a 11,000 crore rupees infrastructure plan. The plan envisages erection and commissioning of 586 substations, 52,351 circuit kilometers of HT lines, 58,629 distribution transformers besides augmentation of existing network. MSEB had erected 1846 substations during its lifetime, whereas MSEDCL aims to construct 586 substations in just two years. A leap forward in the direction of infrastructure development. The project is being implemented on total turnkey basis and through 119 DPRs. Orders of about Rs. 9,189 crore have already been placed on various agencies. Earlier capital investment for infrastructure development was a paltry sum of Rs. 200 to 300 crore per year. The new infrastructure with augmentation and renovation of the distribution network will revolutionize the quality and reliability of supply. Topic. Load management MSEDCL has been implementing long-term load management schemes to reduce load shedding. Feeder separation is one such long-term scheme in which agriculture feeders are carved out. This not only helps load management but also strengthens the infrastructure and reduces technical losses. MSEDCL has also implemented single phasing scheme in some parts of Maharashtra. Currently rural areas face 8.30 to 11 hours of load shedding a day which is decided by Merck. However, the load shedding hours have been almost halved in about 24,461 villages that have been covered so far under these schemes. The load shedding duration of these villages has come down to 2.00 to 5.45 hours which is on par with urban areas. The project cost of these schemes is Rs. 3,233 crore. Topic. Rajiv Gandhi Graman Vidhutikan Yojana RGGVY. 
This is a flagship scheme of Government, of India. There are 4,709 villages and 13, 44,087 identified BPL households targeted to be electrified under this scheme. MSEDCL had prepared proposals for 34 schemes costing Rs. 829 crore for 33 districts of Maharashtra. Maharashtra has been implementing the scheme and has spent Rs. 443 crore so far. Connections to 905,541 BPL households have been released and 4,243 villages electrified under the scheme. BPL families are provided with 1.5 point power connections at a nominal charge of 15 rupees per each and the villages are electrified as per new definition under this scheme. Topic restructured, Accelerated Power Development and Reforms Program RAPDRP RAPDRP is a flagship scheme sponsored by Government, of India and financed by Power Finance Corporation of India, PFC. There are 134 towns having population more than 30,000 as per 2001 census selected in Maharashtra under this scheme. The scheme is being implemented in two phases, Part A and Part B. Creation of IT infrastructure and allied works are included in Part A for which a turnkey contract for 95 towns has been awarded to M.S. Larson & Tubro Limited while M.S. Spanko Limited has been awarded the Part A contract for remaining 35 towns. On completion of Part A, the works under Part B which include renovation and modernization of distribution network, load bifurcation, load balancing, aerial bunch conducting, HVDS, capacitor bank etc. will be taken up. Distribution loss in RAPDRP towns is targeted to be reduced to 15%. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Major achievements post-restructuring Energization of agricultural pumps, Maharashtra has a record number, highest as compared to any state, of agricultural pumps energized so far. The number is about 30 lakhs. Earlier, there used to be a long list of pending applications and the farmers used to wait for years together for supply. The issue was addressed in a proper perspective by MSEDCL. Nowadays about 1 lakh agricultural pumps are energized every year. MSEDCL, in a year or two, would be in a position to grant agricultural connections on demand on par with other categories of consumers. Topic. Loss reduction In five years, MSEDCL reduced distribution losses from 35% to 20% through various drives such as Topic. Anti theft drive. This is being implemented on regular basis. MSEDCL has established 43 flying squads and six dedicated police stations functioning under Vigilance Department to detect and handle power theft cases quickly. Topic. Meter shifting. For many consumers, meters were installed in hard-to-access places, making theft easy to conceal. MSEDCL, therefore, decided to shift all meters to the front of buildings to make them as conspicuous as possible. This project is currently in progress on a large scale. Topic. Mass meter replacement project. MSEDCL has decided to replace all the meters which have been in service for last 10 years and more under mass meter replacement program. It is planned to replace all the electro-mechanical meters with static ones. A process has already been initiated for purchasing about 30 lakh meters for the purpose. This is a huge project which will definitely lead to increase in metered sale. Topic. Energy accounting. MSEDCL has undertaken accurate energy accounting through various methods such as topic. Feeder metering MSEDCL plans to install high-quality meters at all necessary system points, including interconnecting points. Feeder metering of all 10,240 feeders is incomplete and again, photo reading of these feeder meters are taken. Topic. 
DTC metering There are in all two, 84,633 distribution transformer centers DTCs in operation, out of which about 1.51 lakh DTCs have already been metered. Topic distribution franchisee Biwundi, a powerloom city, had typical problems like rampant theft and non-payment. MSEDCL opted for an input-based franchisee model for electricity distribution. It has handed over Biwundi Circle to M.S. Torrent Power on 26 January 2007. This experiment proved to be very successful and a trendsetter in power distribution sector of the country. Recently the company has appointed distribution franchisees for Aurangabad Urban the first and two divisions of Aurangabad Urban Circle and Gandhibag, Civil Lines and Mahal divisions of Nagpur Urban Circle. Zero load shedding model Zero load shedding model is being implemented at certain places with the active participation of local citizens through consumer groups and people's representatives. The mechanism is extremely transparent and is prior approved by the regulator. In this model, a costly power to the extent of shortfall is arranged for which a reliability charge is levied upon the local consumers. Beginning in Pune, the model was implemented in Navi Mumbai, Thane, Penn and Baramati. Of late MSEDCL itself filed a petition before the Merck for implementing zero load shedding model at all the headquarters of revenue divisions, Nagpur, Amravati, Navi Mumbai, Pune and Aurangabad. The Merck approved the proposal and the model was implemented at these headquarters from December 2009. MSEDCL has planned to extend it further to district headquarters, Taluka headquarters and so on. Topic. Improvement in consumer services Online bill payment facility has been made available for all lieutenant consumers across the state by commissioning own payment gateway on MSEDCL website www.mahadiskam.in. Earlier the facility was available to people in Pune, Bandup, Kalyan, Thane, Varshi, Kolhapur, Nashik, Aurangabad and Nagpur only. A consumer facilitation center CFC consists of a single window system with a help desk for customers. The CFCs accept consumer complaints, application forms for new connections, meter change requests and name or address change forms etc. Six state-of-the-art CFCs have been opened at Rastapth Pune, Ganeshhind Pune, Nagpur, Amravati, Nandad and Baramati. More are being planned. Small CFCs at 32 Circle headquarters have been established and more being established. Fifteen call centers have been established at the municipal corporations of Kalyan, Bandup, Pune, Nashik, Aurangabad, Nagpur, Kolhapur, Sangli, Akola, Solapur, Nandad, Dool, Jalgaon, Ahmednagar and Amravati. Customers can receive their monthly bills via email by registering on MSEDCL's website. Internal complaints redressal units at all 40 circles established. Consumers approach this platform for redress of their complaints before going in appeal before zonal consumer grievances redressal forums which are there at every zonal headquarters. Topic. See also Maharashtra Electricity Regulatory Commission Merck.